Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Let's Play episode. We are playing as Tanya the Techie, and last episode we defeated the awesome Fire Dragon, and now we've got the Lost Siblings to defeat, and I think there's even a boss after Erezor, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, let's go ahead and go underground first, because we have a whole bunch of new ore that we can get. It's like a fire based ore. I think it's like flarium. Oh, yep. There it is. Very easy to see. I imagine we're going to need a whole bunch of it, just like the oblivion stuff that we had. Oh, this is cool. We can do a bullet as well as a rocket. I didn't notice that. That's really nice. Okay, looks like we don't actually craft them into bars. We just use it directly, but it does cost a lot. I think we are going to need several hundred. Unfortunately, it seems like a lot of the little pockets of it are pretty small. I wonder if we need to go down deeper to find some bigger chunks of this flarium. Oh, here's a good chunk. Well, I think Calamity spoils me a little bit with their endgame ore. Like, the auric ore is so cool because it's just like these piles of like 300 with vein miner. It's just so fast and easy. Huh, there's even some in the ash in the underworld. This actually might be a pretty fast way to get it, just flying around grabbing it from the ash. I'm impressed that our little drill still works to get this stuff, because it's pre-Moon Lord, but it's grabbed all of our post-Moon Lord stuff. Well, we've reached the very edge of our map. I'm going to grab this and maybe this one right here. Then we can head back to base. We've got... 680 should give us enough to craft a few things at least okay so it looks like i need to remove our adamantite forge and it's an upgrade to that that's cool so we'll put it in here we should be able to oh we need a flarium workbench first nice we've got one of those now i assume we can just toss our normal workbench and now we should be able to do the forge sweet I kind of want to see what it looks like if we place it on the ground. It's pretty cool looking. So now we need to do Draconium Alloy. Got enough to make quite a few, actually. Well, we need more Ember Bark. Oh, these are our last trees. So let's see how much we got. 229. That's probably going to be good. I guess we can grab some of these flowers, too. And back to base. I need to craft the anvil. We gotta make sure we get that before, because that uses up some of these vials of fiery blood. So now we can craft more of this draconic alloy, use the rest up. Now we've got 60. So we can do just kind of the basic gun right here. And then we've also got the rocket launcher. So let's craft the gun first and then probably craft some bullets. Now we just need some fire rockets. Oh, these do require the alloy. So that's going to take a little bit of farming to get our rockets. There's also an upgraded cactus gun. It's this right here. It needs a hundred draconium alloy. Seems a little bit steep. Plus, I don't have ammo for it. So I have a little bit of cactus, but not enough. So it says that it chases targets and inflicts the Flarium Inferno. 59 damage. 45% critical strike chance, so it's way better than these. And you see it's just like Glorophyte, so we can pretty much get rid of our Glorophyte now. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, 10,000. <laughs> yes, plus it's homing. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, I just noticed there's like little fire particles coming up here. That's really nice. I've got two more summons for this boss. Whoa, we're doing a lot of damage. I don't know what the deal is. Something is different. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, let's get up to our arena so we can... Don't have to worry about him going underground and everything. We're gonna fly through this boss fight. 8,000 damage there. 15,000? It's actually the same day that I filmed episode 10. I normally just film one episode at a time, but with everything that's been going on, I was like, I've got time, and I've got the uh, 
momentum, so I might as well just film so I can ensure that I don't miss a bunch of uploads. Oh no. I didn't realize how unforgiving those beams are. Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah. No, man, that stinks. It was just from messing up that once. Oh well. It's super easy to beat the boss now with this weapon. Yeah, this should be fine. Mr. Scythe Man's gonna be coming here soon. I don't like the Scythe Man. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of fire. I managed to dodge it all though. Yes! We're doing well. This gets so hectic. There we go, we defeated the boss. Perfect. That looks really good. Oh my goodness, we can do the armor too. The breastplate. So we've got 80 defense right now. We've got uh, 494 damage. So we went up to 96 and 515 and the set bonus is taking fatal damage will revive you with one third of your max health you will have one minute of increased strength after rebirth five minute cooldown that is incredibly good plus this thing gives us tons of max life so now it's time to fight this boss a few more times it's gonna be a lot easier now with our extra damage and the ability to come back to life if we end up messing up a few times so far, I don't even think we've been hit this run. We're getting the hang of it. Oh, dear. No. No. <laughs> it's always the best way to make sure I get slammed by the boss is to say that I'm doing a no-hit. For sure going to take damage after that. I just like that this boss doesn't do that crazy dash like the Devourer of Gods. It's such a hard thing to dodge. There we go. One more clear. Well, I think I will fight the boss maybe once more and then see if we have enough to craft everything we want. Because the main thing I'm wanting to make sure we get is the wing and I want to also get the rocket launcher and all the cool rockets. There we go, another clear. So we can do the rocket launcher. We can try to do the rest as rockets. Hopefully we've got enough here. And we do, perfect. And let's see what this does. Nice. Are these homing? Oh, they are. They're really strongly homing too. That's really cool. And here's the other thing I really wanted to try out. The flarium wings. Let's craft those. And I'm excited to see what they look like too. I love seeing new wings. That's what they look like normally. And I kind of like them dead. That's actually really cool. I wish they would do what Calamity does with the stats for the wings and stuff so you can see like acceleration and everything. I'm trying to decide which one looks better. I think I might keep the Vortex. What we really need is this Emblem of Sauron. That should let us summon the next boss. So let's see if we can craft it. I don't recognize some of those. Fragment of Blight. It shines bright in the orange night from a cold heart filled with hatred. Okay, so this might mean that we need to do the pumpkin moon and frost moon. We could also use our ultimate battler. Get this going real well. Shoot all these rockets down. Look at our damage. 30, 27,000, 30,000, 36,000. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe I'm thinking too much from the Calamity progression. It is fun to just demolish everything, though. Or maybe we have to get to wave 15 or something before it happens. I should really just check the wiki, but 
I'm already invested into this idea. So I gotta keep going. Get to wave 15 and see if we can get those special items. I mean, at least we're making some gold. It's always good. Okay, well, we did make it to wave 15. And, oh, yes! We did get the fragments. Excellent. It's interesting that they don't really change the power of these enemies. Maybe they did, and I'm just that overpowered right now for this. <laughs> yes! So much loot. The splash damage is doing so well. I just group them all. Well, I finished the night, and let's just get all of this stuff auto-trashed. Well, from that event, I got 846 of these. Something tells me I do not need that many, but... Okay, well, I'll just start it up. Let's put on our ultimate battler. Turn it off. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So much power. Also, so much lag. Over to wave 10 already. Perfect. Already got some ice queens. Oh, we need to get away from the dungeon. We're just going to accidentally start up the pillars. Don't want to do that. There we go. I think we're starting to get fragments. I wonder what the max wave you can get to is. Because we're on wave 19 right now. I don't know if I've ever gotten this far. Obviously, it's a little bit unfair for these enemies because we've got such OP weapons. But still, I think it'll probably end at wave 20. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. We got to wave 20. Very nice. And there it is, the Emblem of Sorin. So we can craft this a few times. Now it's time to fight the lost siblings. I think it's going to be multiple enemies. Oh my goodness. This is insane. This reminds me of like lunatic cultists, but you're fighting like four at the same time. Wow, this is really colorful and exciting. <laughs> we got to keep moving. So, oh, we're doing lots of good damage here. Dragon head. <laughs> this reminds me of Uka and Akka as well. Whoa. So they're shooting. It's kind of like you got the nebula vortex and solar sort of thing going on. This is really fun. As long as we've got enough movement speed, it's not too bad. But I think they're gonna go crazy once when we take down one of the bosses. Yes, this is perfect. We're moving fast enough, we can kite them. I know this is a little bit of a cheese method, but if it works, it works. Until our runway runs out. Now we gotta spin around. That looks like something from Dragon Ball Z or something like that. Oh, nice. New fireball attack. I don't think I'd seen that before. Okay, we're down to two. Now I think it's going to go super crazy on us. Why am I taking damage? Am I too far away? My goodness, that was <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, where's my treasure? Oh, it's not over yet. Oh no, <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, it's got a timer. Oh, don't stress me out like that. The anxiety. Oh my gosh, 
I love that there's a world behind us. Oh man, this is this is definitely really really cool. I would want to get really close to the boss, but I have a feeling if I'm close to the boss, I'm going to die. So I gotta stay, keep my distance. I love that they're player sized and not like these giant things. I wonder if this weapon is gonna do better. Uh, I think this one's a bit lower. That guy looks so cool. I can't believe the detail that went into this boss. It's incredible. Even just that timer. Whoa, scary. Like, how did they program that timer in there? I've never seen anything like that in a mod. Okay, two minutes left. Hopefully there's not an enrage mode. Uh, it seems like he's starting to change his attacks up feeling a little bit more aggressive. Like, before he was shooting out little knives, now he's shooting these big explosion things. Whoa, I beat him! I got him! First try, yay! That is such a cool treasure bag. With its wings and everything. We've got Luminous Energy. Erezor the Fallen Monarch has arrived. Okay, so the first thing I definitely know I want to get is the Vortex Sigil. An extra 10% crit and an extra 10% damage. Super good. The Onyx Blaster upgrade. The Onyx Deathbringer. That looks amazing. Oh, and we can upgrade the SDMG as well. I cannot believe the background and everything and the boss's attacks. And the fact that it was actually five bosses in one. Very, very cool. Oh, that's the person that arrived. There's so much cool stuff. I don't know where I find Astralite though. So it looks like this guy wants to trade for some Vortex Fragments. Now I can trade. I really want to see what this mechanic is. Trade. So we've got an Equipment Cube. Contains the Armor of Death Seraph. Ooh, what is this? So special wings. Whoa, these are really good. Holy smokes. I should have been getting those earlier. Whoa! What is this little thing we summoned? It's got a little, like, hang glider. It's a cute little thing. So I just noticed the next boss is named Erezor, and I think that's what this guy's name is. And, oh, we can actually battle him. So that's gonna be something we're gonna prep for and do next episode. But we do have Nuba, or Nuba. She uses Lanidium coins, and I've been collecting those just from mobs and stuff since we entered Post Moon Lord. So we can actually get quite a few things. It's kind of cool. First things first, though, we need to buy some of these because they are five coins a piece. So I went to upgrade our Ranger emblem, but it looks like we're still missing a few things like the crafting station. So I'm going to go ahead and do some research in between episodes. So next episode, we're going to be doing some serious crafting and fighting Erezor, the next boss. It's going to be a ton of fun. If you're enjoying this series, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.